Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to The Daily Wrap for what was Wednesday, the 10th of January, 2024, my final consecutive streaming day of the week. It was a fun day of podcasting, Baldur's Gate 3 streaming, and of course, my super secret late night mystery stream, which was finally revealed what it was, which we're going to talk about right now, if you didn't see the videos yet, because they're probably going live soon. Uh, let's talk about that. So... Today on the podcast, had a great conversation because it was a follow-up to the discussion from yesterday about updating my thumbnails, updating my title style, and all kinds of information. Thank you for your feedback because I'm already kind of learning exactly what it is that you want. And I'm probably going to take your feedback immediately and start doing interesting things. For example, with a playthrough I'm starting tomorrow on DSP Throwback, I might try a new title style and see how it goes. Okay? Anyway, so great discussion there. We actually had game news discussion and all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, then we jumped into Baldur's Gate 3. Today was another full day of Underdark exploration, including the Spore people that live down there, uh, getting into a bunch of fights around the giant uh, tree, that that's the, the, the magic-canceling tree. I forget exactly what the name of it is off the top of my head. Um, <clears throat> and also, heading towards this uh, like dig site that had been invaded by this uh, group of people who were the enemies of the Spore people, and you had to do a big fight and all of that. Now, admittedly, I got a little upset because I am 40 hours into this game at this point. Actually, I think I'm over 40 hours into the game as of today, if I remember correctly. And still to this day, playing this game, I am getting into situations. You would think 40 hours in, you should pretty much be well-equipped to understand the game. But I swear, every time I play the game, there's something going on that I just completely don't understand. And it's because the game just never explained it. You know? Oh, so today I was supposed to know... <clears throat> that when you kill an undead or a raised creature, that it ha randomly has a chance to roll when you kill it that will auto-revive it and it still have 1 HP. Is that ever explained in the game? No. I was supposed to just know it because I'm supposed to be like a hardcore fan of D&D &D and expect it. Um, I told you guys, ever since I started playing Baldur's Gate 3, the major problem this game has is accessibility. It doesn't have accessibility. You need to have all this prerequisite knowledge or else you just kind of get screwed all the time playing it by stuff like this. So I voiced my concerns. I didn't get totally upset. I just told everyone, this part pisses me off. I wish it was better than this. And then I continued on with the fight and, you know, it was fine. But, you know, I hope that people don't take it the wrong impressions. I still like the game. It's just that, yeah, it's upsetting that they really expected this game, a game of the year pick, by the way, we had to have basically no accessibility to anyone unless you're sitting there researching on the internet every little nuance of the game. It shouldn't be like that. Um, and I hope that people understand that there are games that, that are for a certain audience. And I don't think this one really is for a mainstream audience unless you're going to sit there and invest literally hundreds of hours into it. Okay? Anyway. Still had a great time. Still had a great stream. And then, tonight, the mystery stream. Ladies and gentlemen, it was revealed that my mystery stream actually was the first ever Burnell Family Night stream. That's right, my wife returned to stream for the first time in five and a half years here on DSP Gaming, and Jasper Kitty was also here with us on the stream. So for about two hours, we answered questions, had fun conversation, laughed, and basically kind of did a little bit of sarcasm too, and it was a good time, I think. Uh, I really do think that it went well. I asked her right after, how did it go? And she says, I loved it. I had a ton of fun. Way different than five years ago. Where when she was on the streams, basically stuff was getting to her. It doesn't anymore. And she had a super, super good time. And, uh, you know, we're going to talk. Basically what we're going to do, what we'd like to do is obviously get your feedback. How did it go? It was two hours, right? If you didn't see it yet, there's going to be two videos. One and an hour each here on the channel. And you're going to get to learn a lot about my wife. Because most of the questions were directed at her. Some of them were for both of us, but most of them were for her because she's never been on my streams for over five years. And, you know, in the little bit of time that she was on there five and a half years ago, you know, we were both different people. She wasn't used to being in front of an audience or anything or, or having trolls being nasty to her and stuff like that. And uh, this was an opportunity to kind of start fresh, you know. If you want to know why after five years now, if you want to know what our plans for are for future streams, Watch the video. It's all answered in there, okay? It was a really nice time, to say the least. And, of course, listen, we never asked for anything nor expected anything. We didn't even tell you guys what the stream was going to be. 
that was an incredibly supported stream. One of the best streams supported in ages. I mean, hundreds of dollars in tips, tons of gifted memberships, hundreds of dollars in super chats. I mean, we didn't ask for, we didn't have goals on the stream. We took them all. We're like, we don't want goals tonight. We're just here to hang out. And people were so happy to see her back in a positive manner that they were just so generous. So if you were one of those people, thank you so very much. If you're watching those videos after the fact, I hope you enjoy them. Please leave feedback. If you got more questions, leave them as questions on the video. Let us know what you think. Primarily, here's really the feedback we would like. Did you like it? Would you like to see it again? How often? Any suggestions for improvement? And uh, we're open to that, open to constructive criticism and or, if, you know, I think most people were just so happy to see Cat back on a stream of mine, feeling a lot more comfortable this time around and active and willing to participate in my stuff because that was the intention when she moved here five years ago was that we wanted her to be in the content and it didn't work out. But now I think this year things are going to be for the better. Like I told you guys, I had a lot of interesting new things and plans for this year. I just didn't tell you what they all were. Well, now you're like, oh, wait a minute. Well, this could change everything. You're right. In fact, we even revealed in those videos our first ever idea for co-op gameplay, which we are definitely going to be doing soon. In fact, maybe by the end of this month. But the thing is, really depends on the pacing of one of the new releases. So we'll, we'll see about that when we get to it. But anyway. Thank you so much. Please watch the videos if you're interested in my wife and, and her takes on stuff and or in us as a family, which you've probably never really seen. Like, to give you some perspective here, we have not had Kat on a stream since Jasper Kitty was part of our lives. This is the first time we were all on camera ever together, which was really special. And of course, to have it in a now better lighting, better camera, back then when she was on camera, everything was blurry, looked like shit. Now things just look a lot better, all right? If anything, the one thing we learned, we gotta get a better seating arrangement. I was sitting on a plastic stool that we had sitting in the garage. It's the right height, but it's uncomfortable as hell. I have to see if I can get like a stool that's way more comfortable than that one, but the same height that like with a cushion on it, that would be perfect. I was sitting on hard plastic for two straight hours. My ass hurts. So anyway, give it a look. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. I'm out of here. No streams tomorrow, but that doesn't mean the content stops because tomorrow is a big day over on DSP Throwback. Allow me to explain. Tomorrow is the premiere of Red Dead Redemption. That's right. You guys asked for it. We're giving it to you early because originally the plan was to run with Final Fantasy 13 for like two or more weeks. But because you guys have asked for it, we're going to give you Red Dead Redemption early. It starts tomorrow on DSP Throwback. If you're not aware, that's my retro channel, DSP Throwback. It's a youtube.com forward slash at DSP Throwback. I'm uploading all my old forgotten playthroughs and missing playthroughs on there. So already seven parts of Final Fantasy 13 are live and that's going to continue. But tomorrow it's the premiere of DSP, excuse me, of a Red Dead Redemption and I'm excited for this. I might even try this new titling thing with this part one and see how it works and see if your feedback helps and go from there. So here's the thing. I'm not here tomorrow at all, all right? But you can get caught up on the year-end series, which just happened. You know, Disappointing Games Countdown, uh, v Viewer's Choice Best Playthroughs of the Year, Game of the Year Award. You can get caught up on this two hours of Q&A with my wife, Kat, that we just put out the first Burnell family night ever. Give a look at that. You could watch and catch up on Resident Evil Zero Remaster. You can get caught up on Baldur's Gate 3. Watch some Street Fighter. I mean, hell, there's so much going on on all of my channels at this point. There's even React content on DSP Reacts that's continuing to go live every day this week. So check it out. Have a good time. Be safe tomorrow. I won't be here. When I come back on Friday, obviously the number one hot topic that's going to be on absolutely everyone's mind is how did the stream go tonight? And what would you like to see in the future? Let's get some feedback. So we'll have a big discussion about that on the podcast uh, Friday morning. Then it'll be more Baldur's Gate 3 Underdark Exploration. And then Friday Night Fights, I'm going to play with Dalsim in Street Fighter Six. You know, basically I'm trying to play with every character I'm good with and give them a send-off. I just did Honda. We'll go back to Dalsim. Likely there's going to be a Zengi stream coming up as well, just for variety purposes. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. Man, so many good things. DSP Throwback is working out so far. Looking forward to Red Dead tomorrow having my wife on a stream for the first time in five years is amazing i'm glad that it went well um you know other things in the works you already know the documentary and stuff is going to be in the works soon so so much good stuff in 2024 right now i couldn't be happier thank you all amazing streams amazing support and engagement and everything have a good thursday see you friday peace out have a good night and be safe bye bye see you friday